Hello everyone and welcome to our uh, Bible study. Welcome to our fellowship with the Lord. And good day to everyone. I pray and I hope that everyone is well by the grace of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today our passage is from the book of uh, 1 Peter. If you have Bible with you, you can open it and we can read together. Amen. First Peter chapter 3 verses 8 to 12. Amen. To conclude, you must all have the same attitude of the same feelings. Love one another. As brothers and sisters and be kind and humble with one another do not pay back evil with evil or cursing with cursing instead pay back with a blessing because a blessing is what God promised to give you when he called you as the scripture says Whoever wants to enjoy life and wishes to see good times must keep from speaking evil and stop telling lies. They must turn away from evil and do good. They must strive for peace with all their heart. For the Lord watches over the righteous and listens to their prayers but he opposes those who do evil amen amen praise god at pagpalain po tayo ng panginoon sa ating pagkabasa ng ating ng salita ng diyos ngayong araw na ito uh, ang key, key verse po natin is first uh, peter 3 uh, verse 12 for the Lord watches over the righteous and listen to their prayers but he opposes those who do evil Amen uh, Mga kapatid let us pray Aming Diyos sa langit maraming salamat po sa mga pagpapala mo maraming pong salamat sa mga pagkakataon na ibinibigay mo na kagaya nito Panginoon na kami makadulog sa iyong kalwalhatian. Uh, Father God in heaven, we thank you. You are worthy to pray. You are our God that never failed for your promises. You are our God that fulfill every needs in our lives, Lord. We thank you for everything, Lord. Uh, we continue to worship you because you deserve it, Lord. We continue to give thanks because you deserve it, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We ask, Lord, your leading to us upon doing uh, this Bible study, Lord God, today. You may give us, Lord, the spirit of understanding so we can um, recognize the truth of your words, Lord. We, may, we, we, we ask, Lord, your cleansing, Lord, cleansing of our heart cleansing of our spirit lord god so we can dwell in your place freely thank you for everything for you deserve glory and honor you deserve the highest praise you deserve worship in your name O lord jesus christ we pray amen 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 so our passage is first peter 3 12 with a uh, message of for the lord watches over the righteous and listens to their prayers but opposes those who do evil ang dios ay laging nandoon sa mga tao na nananampalataya sa kanya na sumusunod sa panginoon 
ang Diyos ay laging nandoon ang ang kanyang kasagutan, ang kanyang mga pagpapala doon sa mga nananalangin o nagpipray. So what does it mean that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous? Ano pong ibig sabihin nito? So Peter describes several graces that reflect the love of Christ in the life of believers. Including like mindedness, sympathy, brotherly love, compassion, and humility. First Peter 3.8 says, Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and humble mind. So, Christians who emulate these characteristics enjoy spiritual blessing and favor from the Lord. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and His ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. 1 Peter 3.12 Sinasabi po ng versikulo na ito na ang Diyos ay nandoon sa mga tao na sumusunod sa kanyang mga salita. Ang Diyos ay nandoon uh, uh, sa mga tao na nag, nananalangin sa kanya at humihingi ng mga pagpapala. Subalit ang Diyos ay malayo sa mga hindi gumagawa ng kalooban ng Diyos. Peter was quoting from Psalm 34 to describe the blessed life of which Christian are called. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and these ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to blot out their name from the earth. This is according to Psalm 34, verses 15 to 16. And the other passages of Scripture affirm Peter's thought that God looks with favor on the righteous. In Genesis 8, uh, Genesis 6 to 8, 6, verse 8, but no more found favor in the eyes of the Lord. The psalmist says, Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with shield. Marami po na mga pagpapala ang Diyos doon sa mga tao na sumusunod po sa kanyang mga uh, kalooban, the righteous things. Yung katuwiran po ng Diyos, kapag iyon po ang sinunod ng tao, marami pong pagpapala na kaakibat ang mga bagay na yon. Una, hindi tayo mapapahamak. Kasi kapag sumunod tayo sa mga uh, kalooban ng Diyos, malayo tayo sa kapahamakan. At, Sinasabi ng, ng mga ng Bible, ng mga verse Bible, na talagang nandoon ang Diyos. So, hini, hinihikayat ang bawat isa na yung kalooban ng Diyos ang gawin natin sa buhay natin. There, uh, there, uh, there is always a choice to be a righteous in this life. So, pwede nating piliin ang righteousness over disobedience. The righteous, Peter referred to our born-again Christian who live, or who live out their new lives in Christ, practicing unity, love, compassion, sympathy, 
and humility, they don't repay evil for evil and don't uh, retaliate with result. When they are insulted, instead they pay them back with a blessing. Uh, instead they pay back with blessing. That is what God has called you to do. And He will grant you His blessing according to 1 Peter 3.9. So doon sa mga mana ng palataya ng Diyos, uh, nagbig nagbigay si Apostle Peter ng mga gabay at suggestion na dapat tayo po ay mayroong uh, uh, ginagawa or we practice unity, we practice love, compassion, sympathy, and humility. Kapag ginawa natin yun sa ating kapwa, ay uh, nagpapakilala na tayo ay sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. At kung mayroong gumawa man na masama sa atin, hindi tayo dapat uh, nagbabalik ng kasamaan, kundi we pay back with blessing. This is the advice of Peter. And we should do this from 1 Peter 3.9 The praise eyes of the Lord is an anthropor anthropomic expression that ascribes human-like qualities to God. The initial encouragement we receive from knowing that the Lord's eyes are upon the righteous is that God is omniscient and sovereign over all creation. God knows everything, according to 1 John 3.20, and sees all people, but the evil and the righteous. His eyes are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. Proverbs 15.3, the eyes of the Lord are the every place, keeping watch on the evil and good. Nothing escapes the Lord's far view. God knows everything. Lahat po, maging yung laman ng puso natin, nakikita ng Diyos kung anong niya sa puso natin. So, sinasabi po ng verse ay ang laging mata ng Diyos, the eyes of the Lord is on the righteous. The eyes of the Lord is, is even also in the wicked. So, both nandoon yung yung presensya ng Diyos sa both party pero dapat ang piliin natin yung uh, righteous kapag nakita ng Diyos na nasa righteous tayo then the blessing will come to us from the Lord if the eyes of the Lord are everywhere and always upon us then we can count on His presence to always be with us if I go up to heavens you are there. If I make my bed in the depth, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me past. If I say, surely the darkest or the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is the light to you. From Psalm 139. Amen. So we can rest knowing that God will never leave you nor forsake, forsake us. We are never alone. Never abandoned by God. Or separated from His love. 
God is omnipresent, omnipresent, or present everywhere. His eye or his eyes range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose heart are fully committed to him. Amen. Nandoon ang Diyos, nandoon ang presensya ng Diyos sa mga tao na ang puso ay nasa Diyos. At iyon ang uh, the range throughout the earth to uh, to strengthen those whose heart are fully committed. Pag ang puso natin ay totoo at nandoon ang Diyos, then God is with us. The eyes of the Lord also repairs to his individualized care. God sees every step his children take. He gives them security. And they are supported. And his eyes are upon their ways. Assures. Just as God care for Israel as the, as the apple of the eye of his eye, He continues to keep watch over those who fear Him on those who, whose hope is in an unfailing love. Psalm 33.18 Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, on those who hope in His steadfast love. So knowing the eyes of the Lord are always on the righteous, we can be confident of His constant protection. Our Heavenly Father will not let our foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel is neither slumber or sleep. Psalm 121 verse 3 and 4 he will not let your foot be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps israel will neither slumber nor sleep amen amen ang mata ng diyos ay laging nandoon sa mga nakikinig at mga sumusunod sa kanya The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous like those of a loving shepherd tending the sheep of his flock. God's blessing of favor extend to eternal life. According to John 3.16 For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son. So, it means the eyes of the Lord is only, always there for us. Yet also fill our days on earth with good things. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God, our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. God never changes. For whatever the promises in the Bible, God fulfills it in our lives. Amen. God is always in every uh, people who are always thank God. Always in the side of God. Always in the righteousness. Always in the light. God is always there. Amen. At uh, malinaw po na sinasabi ng verse natin, ng 1 Peter 3.12 na uh, palaging ang Diyos ay nandoon sa mga tao na sumusunod sa kanyang mga salita. Amen. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful enlightenment that you given us lord god about this first peter 3:12 that your eyes is on the righteous lord lord we ask lord to your spirit of righteousness to be in us lord god to be each of us lord god so we can 
experience, Lord, the things that blessing in our lives because according to your word, you are always there for all the righteous, for all, for those who obey in your word, Lord God. Lord, help us and lead us, Lord God, in our daily lives, Lord, so we can do the things that you wanted us to do. We thank you for everything. For you deserve glory, you deserve honor, you deserve highest praise, you deserve the worship, you deserve the thanksgiving. In your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, 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 amen. And mega love shout out sa ating lahat po. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming pong salamat sa mga pag-share nyo ng ating premiere. At ang sinishare nyo po ay ang salita ng Diyos. At uh, ang Diyos po ay nagagalak kapag ang salita niya ay ating uh, sinishare sapagkat ito po yung ating uh, tungkulin bilang tao ang ipangalat ang salita ng Diyos. So, ang mag-encourage sa ating kapwa-tao, ang magbigay ng pag-ibig sa ating kapwa-tao. Amen. At maraming pong salamat at God bless you po. Magkita-kita po tayo muli sa susunod nating premiere. Bukas po uli sa ganitong oras. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.